Hello everyone, welcome back to Space for Edit. If you clicked on this video, then you want to know something more about how to create a YouTube channel from scratch and what are the things that you should and should not do. So keep on watching. So about a year ago, I started this YouTube channel just because I was looking for more. I was looking for more exposure. I wanted to just develop my presentation skills. And to be honest, when I started looking out in the quantums of YouTube universe, I realized that there isn't much interior design presence. There's a lot of DIY videos. There's a lot of groove makeover type of videos, but anyone Anyone that actually talks about the industry, about the profession, what it takes to become an interior designer, what actually interior designers do, um, there wasn't much out there. So I thought, okay, I've got something here, but how can I do it? And should I do it? And what's it going to be like? And what are people going to say? There was just like loads of things going through my head, but I knew that as soon as I took the pen and paper and I started writing out things, um, maybe like topics that I could make videos about, it was just coming out of me. Like I couldn't go to bed at night because I was just getting more, more and more ideas about videos, what I should make. So I knew I had a good idea. I knew I had a good thing going and I had to start somewhere. So today I want to share nine things that I have learned. I have learned a lot more than nine things <laughs> over the last year but I wanted to share the top nine things that came to my mind about how it is to um, just create a new YouTube channel from scratch, not buying subscribers or followers and just trying to get an organic reach and in a niche that is quite unique, that is not maybe wildly searched on YouTube because as you probably know, YouTube is the second largest um, search engine owned by the largest search engine which we all know is google so when people go to youtube they search for things or they search for entertainment education so if people really don't know that there is something out there on youtube like this for interior designers then they will not search it so enough with the background story let's get on to it with lesson number one no one actually cares and let me just repeat that for you twice no one actually cares about your life or whatever you are doing let's just expand on that the fact is that we are so busy with anything that we are doing everyone says that oh my god i'm the busiest person on earth i just got so many things going on learned it and here we are we've got this great idea we are putting ourselves out there and we are just constantly thinking oh my god what are other people gonna say and what are they gonna think and what the neighbor next doors and what my co-worker is gonna think you know what they don't care. They might click on the first video, they might click on the second video, but if it's not really their jam, they are not gonna spend any time thinking about it. And to be honest, who even cares? The pro of this is that you have got all this time to grow. You know, use this time at the blissful ignorance from your coworkers, from your family. Use this time to just grow. Use this time to practice. And I'm telling you, no matter how good you think you are, or how bad you think you are as well, you need to practice. Get on with it, put your work out there and appreciate the growth. Now that's the pro. The negative side of this is that you really, really need your family's support and you need your friends' support to just get your channel off the ground. They just don't do it. <laughs> And it is frustrating because you know how much it actually takes to create something new and you know how hard it is but um, unfortunately again people don't care so they might give you a little clap on the back or just say oh yeah I saw you doing something but that will be it when you actually want them to come on just share my content every post every story can you just talk about me can you just mention my name to someone out there who could maybe benefit from this no don't expect that happening so yeah unfortunately the ugly truth is that your friends and family will not be your biggest supporters um, and do not expect that what i've actually learned is that i 
have far more chance, a bigger chance to connect with someone all across the world in a different continent who speaks a different language, I have a better chance to get their support to connect with them more than I have maybe with my closest friends. <laughs> So a side effect learned from uh, lesson number one is lesson number two, and that is that you are your biggest cheerleader. We have a saying in Latvian um, which goes along the lines of no one else will wag the dog's tail but the dog himself. Basically, no one else will talk about you as passionate as you can about yourself in your own work. You will have to promote the shares out of your work. You will have to be the one who shares your work every day, shares a new video, builds up the excitement of a new video coming out. You will be the only one who will be to blame and to congratulate for your own success. Now, the algorithm loves um, accounts and uh, just channels who have got a lot going on around it. So that's likes, that's comments, that's viewing, um, length whatever that trend I don't know I don't know how they say it in the YouTube world now so all of that algorithm loves it but you will obviously not going to get that traction if there's nothing going on around your channel so please use and abuse your own Facebook your own Twitter I don't know your LinkedIn actually LinkedIn is quite a good one to go for like as Gary V says LinkedIn at the moment is the best organic reach I've actually tested that myself at first I was a bit like oh LinkedIn YouTube is that really a good mix like what are my future employees or what are my future clients think about that and then one day I was like you know what I have nothing to lose I have not come this far and put myself this far out um, to just be held back by someone else's opinion so I put my content out there on LinkedIn and it actually started some good conversations you know you get different kind of a clientele on LinkedIn and people love different people stop scrolling for different they might not turn into a subscriber or a follower they will still kind of make a mental note about that that they've seen it so I think it's a win-win situation and you should really explore all of the platforms and by saying be your own cheerleader that means that you have to be consistent you have to put your content out there all the time if you post a video that you have worked on for hours you've edited you'd you've you've done the whole lot and you just post it one day when it comes out and then you never mention it again then what is even the point how do you expect people to notice just one little post i always do like little trailers and put them on instagram or put them on linkedin again on facebook just share them everywhere really okay lesson number three is that everyone is watching they might not be saying that to you face to face but they are watching and they are noticing and the more you're gonna do things the more they're gonna notice and one day I'm telling you this has happened to me so many times one day someone will come in back and say oh yeah I've been watching your videos or oh yeah I see you've been doing like a YouTube thing it looks really good well done keep going and you will think like where were you before like when I needed all this encouragement one day when they are feeling like oh I actually know someone who does YouTube videos maybe they could help me um, and they will come back to you so no content is wasted content Lesson number four is that you should focus on giving, 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 giving and not receiving anything back. If you are in it for the money or if you are in it for the fame and the recognition then that is quite a toxic place to start from in my opinion because it should be all about just sharing what you are really passionate about like I am passionate about interior design but I am really passionate about showing people what it actually takes to become an interior designer and I'm not focusing on the fact that some of my videos might still be sitting on 70 views when I spent a whole week filming it it's not about that it's just about sharing this experience hoping that with someone it will 
will resonate and and that will be enough so yeah lesson learned just don't feel like someone owes you something it's not about that it's about you no it's about you not me it's about you just giving your best out there to the world and just seeing what the universe will bring back to you okay let's move on to more practical tips so lesson number five is batch scripting and batch filming so doing more in one go or more in one day so if that's script writing then write at least two three scripts a day if that's filming videos try to film more videos in one day now i have got to admit that i have not done more than two videos in one day and i think more than two scripts in one day but when I did it, I felt like I was winning in life. <laughs> I will be honest with you, it is hard to have a full-time job and a passion and have YouTube on the side because YouTube, YouTube takes up a lot of time. It is not quick. It is sometimes easy but most of the times it is not easy to get the whole set up and you know get the energy going because you don't really want to sound plain and boring on the video so you need to get the energy levels up so it's easier when you are on the same energy level and you can film at least a few videos so that way you already have a stack of videos and you just need to go through the editing process so eventually when you get better you can just film a whole month's worth of content in one day wouldn't that be awesome okay so lesson number six can be applied to your youtube as well as your instagram and probably facebook and linkedin so that is to study and follow similar accounts the audience and the following that your competitors have is basically the audience that you want for yourself so going through the comment section of someone else's videos or instagram posts is a great way to connect with like-minded people so the way I've done it in the past is, let's say I've gone on to Karen Bond's um, post or House of Bond post and just went through the comment section there. I see what people are asking for. Maybe there are some questions that um, Karen's team haven't yet replied and they are like a few weeks old. So yes, learning from people who are way ahead of you and have already done all of this in advance is probably one of the quickest way of growing. Next tip again is more of a Instagram tip I think but you can definitely apply that to your YouTube growth as well and that is direct messaging again commenting on people's posts and just genuinely growing a relationship with your audience so I have met so many lovely people on Instagram and on YouTube and just learned about them and kept in touch and really just ended up supporting their journey whilst they are supporting my journey. Social media is, should not be another task on your to-do list if you really want to show up authentically and you really want to connect with your audience it should really come natural and it should be like another platform for you to just grow and there are actually some rumors about that videos and insta stories and voice messaging and direct messaging is the way to go if you want to show up on people's feeds more often so there you go there's another trick the next lesson learned about your audience and about your following is that be genuinely genuinely interested into the people who choose to follow you imagine that someone that you really really like and someone that you really follow on instagram or on youtube they actually message you back and start a conversation ask about your day ask about what you do where you go and all that kind of stuff you just you would be like oh my god this person actually cares first of all there's an actual person behind this account there is not a social media manager behind this account and just imagine yourself being on that other other side and receiving this kind of a attention and just care and genuine interest in who you are as a person you will obviously next time seeing their content or seeing their posts you will be more likely to comment like or react or 
do anything or suggest their account to your friend. So um, be genuinely interested. Again, don't have it just as another tick box exercise. Be authentic. And to finish off today's video, I wanted to share lesson number nine, and that is you will get better with time. Whether it's the editing part of the video that kind of scares you or it's taking ages or maybe it's the actual filming part of the video, anything that you might be struggling with in the beginning will get better in time. Like honestly, when I filmed my first video, it took me about three hours to film it and it took me about a couple of weeks to edit but now I can film a video in half an hour and I can edit it over one evening. So that is a massive improvement and when you can see improvement that is very encouraging and when you're encouraged you are more likely to keep going forward and keep posting more content. That's it for today, nine massive lessons that I've learned in this past year and what a year it has been. It's just crazy. When I compare this person standing here today to the person that was on my first video, um, the growth is just ridiculous, just absolutely ridiculous and what's even more exciting is that I know that this is only the beginning so I'm just getting goosebumps from thinking where this channel is going and where I am going as a professional and all the people that I will meet along the way and all the lessons that I will learn along the way. So it is definitely worth it. If you are sitting there today thinking, oh, I could do it. Or should I do it? Should I not? I'm not really sure. Do it. Watch this video again if you need it. Write down the lessons and just implement them as you are going, as you are growing through your own YouTube or Instagram journey. And the most rewarding thing about being on these platforms and doing this work is when you actually get someone sending you a message that your content has helped them in their professional career or in their school life or in life in general like people do send me messages saying that this, this is so inspirational and it has helped them to boost their confidence or it brightens up their day just because i show up and i have a smile on my face it is just the best feeling ever and I guess that's just the side effect of having that giving, 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 giving attitude is that when you finally receive something back it's just like the best day ever. I hope this has inspired you today and maybe if you already have a channel and or a Instagram account and you feel like a bit, oh my numbers are not right and the following is low and like, yeah, uh, uh, uh. I hope this video has inspired you to just go out there, do your thing, keep going, keep showing up, be consistent and just smash it. This is supposed to be fun. Honestly, don't take things too seriously. Just start, start sharing, be yourself and you will learn along the way. So yeah guys, that's all for today. If you you have not had enough of this face then make sure you follow me on Instagram right down there make sure you leave a little like and subscribe if you haven't click the bell next doors to it because you know these days I just don't post regularly sorry I know I said keep showing up and be consistent but it is a struggle that I'm still learning to deal with um, yes yeah, so um, that's it for today. Here's to, I should have, should have had a drink. Cheers to one year on YouTube and I hope there's going to be plenty more years to come. So if I don't see you on Instagram, then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.